Flu at school. One Hudson Elementary is battling 114 absences today after illnesses just take over, but they are trying to fight the wintertime sickness. Nick Evans picks up the story in Hudson. Nick. Hey, Liam, so roughly a third of the school has been absent this week with many of the cases affecting kindergarten and first grade students. The sick calls are pouring in at Mulready Elementary. The Hudson School has had dozens of absences in the past few days, with all signs pointing to the flu. This flu season has been incredibly busy. Dr. Malika Marshall says urgent care centers have been inundated with patients this flu season. Chances are it's going to be one of the busiest flu seasons we've seen in recent years. The week at Mulready started with around 90 absences. By Wednesday, 123 kids stayed home, about 40% of the school. Today, 114 students. If your children develop flu-like symptoms, if they get a fever and a cough, but they're otherwise doing okay, they're staying hydrated, they're not short of breath, stay at home. In an effort to stop the spread of the virus, teachers and staff are cleaning everything, sanitizing surfaces at night and before school, wiping down surfaces between classes, and placing hand sanitizer around campus. The school says parents have also been very helpful in keeping kids home who may be sick, so the problem doesn't get worse. The best way to protect your kids from getting sick is to make sure they are vaccinated. It is still not too late. So doctors say the flu vaccine is not 100%, but if you do end up getting the flu, the symptoms will be much milder and you'll avoid some of those serious complications like getting pneumonia. As for the school here, they say there are no guidelines as far as whether they should shut down or not, so they plan on riding this out. In Hudson, I'm Nick Emmons, CBSN Boston.